Nice to meet you. These people are silent. They don't talk at all. Look what we have found. Yeah. Some people standing in the field. Crazy people. Yeah, they are just standing here. And being art. Yes. This is, uh, I think, this is some kind of uh, image of Finnish people, or at least people living on this area. So they are, we are not friends of uh, small talk. We like the silence and solitude. We don't have that much roadside sightseeing places, but when we do, they are crazy and wild like this. I love it. So the artwork piece is called the silent people. But we would rather call these people anorectic stick people. Yes, they are just stick and nails. And I think they are changing the clothes quite often because... You the damage, damage. And also the we have a long winters here. So if this would be here the full winter there would be looking no, so much but different. No, in wintertime they will have a winter jacket. And fur coats and everything. And mittens and wool hats. Really? I don't know, but they should, otherwise yes. they will be freezing. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Maybe they have. <laughs> These roadside attractions are great because you can get small pause from driving and then you can continue to drive. Yeah, and when you travel with the camper van, you have a stove there and fridge and you can cook yourself a little snack or coffee. So you don't have to find the coffee places or gas station or somewhere where you need services. It's a great way to be self-reliant. In a van, in a hot, beautiful place like this. We park at our van next to the reindeer, so we are in the Lapland zone. Yes, and this is uh, almost the first time. When we drove here, there was a couple of reindeers on the road. And that's pretty normal here, and you have to be careful, not run over them and yeah. drive slowly when you see them. And yeah, there is actually a reindeer bell app on a phone, so people will put there the sighting of the reindeer, so people know on the road that here is might be possible that there is a reindeer. Yeah. Cars passing by, you can actually see from the car if it's a local or not. Locals are like, okay, reindeers. Anyone yeah. else like staring at the reindeers. Yeah. What? Oh, <laughs> Just like us. <laughs> Even when we are in uh, small towns of Finland, we always do this. So we have a metal wire which is uh, which has the plastic on top of it so it's pleasant to handle and we track the wire between the handles of the doors and then we have the key over here there and then lock it This basically disables that anyone cannot actually pick lock the doors. Because we had to get the doors uh, pick locked in a couple of seconds. I think four or five seconds if you know what you're doing and you can do it without doing any sound. And I know it. And there's a couple of uh, solutions for that. There is uh, one metal plate that you can actually install inside of the door, so it cannot be big locked. Or other thing is putting this wire here. Why we don't use the plate that we use the wire is that, well, you can actually break the window pretty easily here. And if you crawl inside or if you break the window, you can all, all, always open the door. So if we have wire, you break the window, 
you still have to crawl from the window inside of the van and crawl outside because we have extra locks on our side and back doors. That's our plan. So even if you get inside of our van, you have to crawl inside. And if you want to go outside, you still have to crawl. Maybe that's a bit too much for some bad guys. We hope. But this is our solution and we like it. Because this gives us peace of mind. And that's the, I think, the most important thing about security is that you get peace of mind. Because uh, these vans and motorhomes can be braked in easily in few seconds. So that cannot be stopped. Last grocery shopping in Finland. I think maybe we go to Inar some little shopping, but yeah, 118 euro, 18 euros we spend it here. We have budgeted our monthly grocery shopping for 350 euros, so we don't really have to stress about what we buy. We buy healthy stuff or sometimes really unhealthy stuff. But generally, we take always the healthy option rather than the cheapest option. Yes. And we have some three hour drive still ahead of us. And then we gonna find some place to spend the night. Now it's clean again. There's lots of mozzies that is dying on our windshield and we have to clean it quite often. <laughs> that keeps us going. <laughs> take a diesel and it's almost midnight and we still have the northern midnight sun so it's so incredible beautiful here like look we have been driving whole night and we still have three hours left and it's kind of hard because there's a lot of these okay loud guys with their motorcycles youngsters yeah it's kind of hard and draining because the sun is not setting so it brightens your eyes and you cannot really see the road and there's tons of rain there so you have to be really careful and stay alert when you drive so it's kind of draining but good thing there's not other traffic at all so it's just pure wilderness but this is taking so long we could easily stay here for night, but we are in a kind of rushed schedule, so we better start moving and still drive three hours. It's kind of hard for me personally, because I'm a bad driver and I don't like to drive a big vehicle and long distance driving. And then there's like these routes that you don't know and all those jumping reindeers and all that. But when you live on a road, it's, you just have to get away with your comfort zone. It's past midnight and we finally found our place to spend the night. By the beach. We are really tired, so we will just go to a little dip in the lake and then go head straight to bed to sleep. It's beautiful here. We are preparing us for entering Norway. We have now two days time to enter there before Uusimao Helsinki area is blocked. Yes. After Monday we cannot get there. So these are the last days. 
Uh, first thing that we have to do is uh, register, register us to Norway. And we just did it by yeah. our mobile phone, so they will just ask our personal information and where have we been traveling and where, when we are going to enter and have what area we are from. That's it. We show the passports there. There's a QR code on a mobile phone, so, so we can just show them. And then they will take a COVID test. And then we will just wait for the results and... That's it. And yeah. the test is, test is free of charge. And what is the QR code? It's that we have been registered to enter the country. Yes. All right. We are ready. So now we're just going to find some boondocky place somewhere near the border. border and when the we... borders are open in the morning time, we are going to just hit there. We are in top of this mountain in Finland that does not have any trees. And it's called Tunturi in Finnish. We don't know the word in English. We are so sorry. But they have built these really modern glass houses there. So you can rent one apartment. You can see northern lights from there. So I bet it's kind of nice experience. But summertime this is okay place too. Kaunis pää. Kusi pää. It's a waffle time and coffee break from driving. And we arrived to Kaunis pää. Top of the Kaunis Pää, it's a... Mikä? Tunturi. Like a smooth mountain, a big hill without the trees. So these are the first mountains without the trees that are here on our path. Totally different kind of scenery around us. Uh, I haven't been here on this part of Finland, so this is all new to me. Me it's... neither! So, okay. I thought you would be I have coming. No, no, only the arm part. Okay, because uh, Sarah's dad is always coming here to, for skiing in the winter time. So I thought you. Would... I hate skiing. Okay, that's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are totally new surroundings, so it's really nice to stop here and just relax and drink good coffee, freshly grinded. Yes, and we did buy fresh strawberries to go with our waffles and we are going to brew coffee here and sip out drinking this beautiful hilly area it's like 360 view here yeah and we always buy two times a year strawberries when the belgium strawberries comes to finland and when the finnish strawberries come to finland for sale and they are pretty good both of them Yes, let's enjoy the coffee, enjoy the break and stare at these beautiful surroundings and yeah, imagine being here in the winter time when there's like two meters of snow and there's lots of uh, skiing rules. Let's drink the coffee, enjoy, relax Life. and live this moment so we can remember this our whole lives. It's pretty good to have your own house here, in the top of the mall. It's amazing that you can actually get your own home in top of the Kaunis Pao, these beautiful places. Okay. Yes. How many calories did that count? Kevyt kenttäloulusta. Okay, that was Kirk stuff. I think uh, the Sami people might be a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah, we just came actually to the Sami area of the Lapland. There was some Sami language which I don't know, so I don't know what it told us. Yeah, Sami region and lots of reindeers all around these places, so we just have to. Drive carefully and watch for the road. Yeah. 
200 kilometers driving and basically between these little towns there's nothing. There's just, just plain road. This tiny little town was Ivalo. Uh, basically it's not even the northern most towns in this area and yeah it's tiny and yeah you always get surprised how much uh, life is there so there's lots of people walking there and spending time yeah but we are going more north that's our plan yeah it was nice to see Ivalo first time in in my life Old houses from 80s and I don't know old people. Yeah, in autumn part of Finland there's lots of old, old people, so it's not a surprise. Wilderness area, nothing anywhere. But look at that, Porchi. Yeah, Finland is a strange country. We have the cheapest internet in the whole Europe and we have the best coverage in whole Europe and the vast area of Lapland. It's, this is huge. Lapland is huge. It's uh, basically one third of Finnish uh, land mass and here is only living 5% of whole Finnish population. So, <laughs> not much people. And the Lap Lap is, uh, for example, if you compare it, uh, it's bigger than Hungary, it's bigger than Ireland. So, it's a really huge place. Yeah, we haven't been here much exploring this place, but there is much to explore. Much places where you can actually go fishing and just go do nothing or see nothing or anyone <laughs> that's a good part and yeah it's a different place and i think i think we mentioned in one video about the black forest in germany that it's it's the really nice wilderness area and uh, it's the sightseeing places of, of europe but yeah if you have Lapland on your country and somebody says that Black Forest is a really nice place and awesome place and really beautiful then you're like yeah. It's strange when you see YouTube videos from USA from for, for example they say that there is areas where is no cell re reception. We have maybe a couple of areas in Finland where you don't have internet connection. <laughs> so that's uh, pretty unnormal for us. At the moment we are, yes, as you can see from the map and from our drone footage, we are middle of nowhere in the wilderness area where it's just uh, one road going past the whole area and a couple of cottages and that's it. This is nice because uh, we have we have been working from the van for the past four years and we have been working a lot in the nature and in the forest areas and we have always good reception that we can actually connect to any kind of uh, teams meeting or anything so going now to different countries is a bit different luckily <laughs> northern countries in Europe are only ones that have these uh, unpopulated areas because if you go to uh, Europe, there ain't that areas. There is no people. There's people everywhere. And we don't like that much about that section, but it's the best section that there is uh, internet co coverage, coverage everywhere. So that's good. Yes, now we're gonna stream Spotify in a wilderness area and continue towards the Norwegian border. We came to the place where we were planning to spend the night. It's basically a shooting yard which has a 
fireplace over there. We have our own, our own firewood in our van, so you could use those to light up the fire or collect food from the forest. But yeah, the sight of the river is pretty awesome. Yeah, and the other side of the river there is uh, Norway, so at the moment because of the Mexican beer situation we cannot actually go cross the border from here, but in normal situation it's uh, totally okay to cross the border to Norway any way you like. We actually saw one good place, one white spot on the road, like one kilometer that way, which has the site straight to the river. Now we don't have because we are bugged here. So we're gonna change the spot there. Yes, change of plans because of this. We can see the whole river from our windows. Yes, and also the sunset. So this is the perfect place to spend the last night in Finland for a long long time. <laughs>